plan is for a walkthrough, but it's so packed right now. It's kind of hard to do. Not being a bitch that, but I'll try. This feels awkward as hell walking with this cell phone. But it is what it is. I guarantee if you look on Amazon or something like this, you'll find it for a lot less. And that's why the store is shutting down. That and just probably mismanagement, corruption. Mega Constructs Mikey Coney Island Trap and other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles building sets each sold separately. Mega Constructs. How will you build beyond? With Mega Constructs Halo building sets, I can build beyond. I create the Desert Sniper Cyclops to do a Spartan Jerome on the battlefield. They scan the desert for the enemy, Atriox. The banished Ghost Rush builds up and flies into battle. I take aim with the Cyclops and blast! My Halo battle. I was here yesterday, and even yesterday was dead. And once that news broke, now the parking lot's almost full. They only had like two registers open too. It's like a 20 minute wait just to buy soda. <laughs> now when I buy soda and some, uh, some Jenga blocks for my son, like an old game. This area hasn't changed at all in the past 20 years. When I worked here, it's exactly the same. The power wheels are in the same exact section. All this stuff's in the same same area. We used to drive these things back in the day when we worked here. We'd come in, charge the batteries up, and like during our lunch break, we would um, <laughs> just hop on. I had the F-150, which they probably don't make anymore. But yeah, still exactly the same spot. All right, this area here, guys, back then, it was all pink. Even the aisles were pink. Like in the Toy Story 2 movie where they show like, the Barbie stuff in the, in the pink aisles. It actually was like that. It doesn't exist anymore. Did they even sell Barbies like that? I don't know. I'm sure they still sell them, but not like it was back then. Back then, this whole area was all Barbie for like three or four aisles. Now it's nothing like that, really. All this kind of stuff. Yeah, my time I spent here working or employed was the bike section. You know, straighten up the bikes. That's trying to sell bikes. <laughs> trying to sell bikes to people. That's funny. And uh, in the Barbie aisle and GI Joes. That was my job. But yeah, it's awkward as hell filming in here. You could probably tell I'm talking all quiet.
This is what you're miss right here by this store going away. I mean, look at that. Look at that badass display right there of the Star Wars and Marvel. I mean, come on, you, you'll miss stuff like this. Kids today, you don't get this experience on, on Amazon.com or even in Walmart. I mean, that's just badass looking. I'm not really a Star Wars fan per se, but even still, it's still cool as hell. I mean, it actually just, you know, you actually play with this stuff before you even buy it. Or at least, at least touch it. You know, look on the computer screen. Like, come on, look at this thing. Here's Marvel. So looking at this stuff, I haven't been here in a, in a little while. I came here yesterday, but I just, I just kind of like breeze right through. But looking at it, I mean, come on, it's badass. I'm not, I'm not much of a YouTuber. I'm doing this just out of my own memory. This stuff's all in the same spots as it used to be, you know, 20 years ago. RC cars, racetracks. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's gonna be a shame to see this place go. Too. That's pretty damn cool. I might have to buy this. Electronics department. Again, you won't see this kind of thing at Walmart. Open displays. The graphics, the details, the signage I'm talking about. It's the kind of thing you don't get at Walmart. It's still funny seeing Wii U games. They stopped selling Wii U about three years ago. signs are just awesome. They're really cool. I'm still in work clothes, so they're probably thinking, what the hell is this guy doing here? I'm, I'm off the clock though, so I think it's legal, right? Unless they tell me I can't record here. PS4. I want to record the bike area next. That's where I used to work. That's where I started off working at. But it was packed full of people. But looking around, you can just see how dated this place is. The registers. Just, I don't know, just so dated. The coloring. Like I said, I've been, I worked here 20 years ago and it really hasn't changed all that much except for the merchandise. Um, you know, when you walked into this place, you can see like a bunch of um, electronics, like keyboards, um, basically like like that. But I mean, I'm talking like full-on displays where you can actually sample them, play them, and try them out. They have boom boxes, home stereos, uh, just just higher quality goods. I think 
overall. That's something you don't really get here. I mean, some of this stuff is, is good, but then you see something like this. Like, this is a prime example. Like, look at this. 30 bucks for something you'd probably get at like a five below. Or a five below quality, in my opinion. That's a prime example of just junk, really. But then you got some other stuff like the Star Wars, which is still good. So it's pretty much a mixed bag. This stuff's always a classic. But again, you can go on Amazon.com. I'm sure if you search this, you'll, you'll find it for a lot cheaper. Yeah, all this stuff is exactly the same. Exactly the same as 20 years ago. Same exact spots and everything. The ball pits, trampolines. It's crazy. But yeah, still, still cool displays. Cool signage. Another area that stayed the same. Bike area. Used to be an old computer over here. I wonder if it's still there. See you in a second. Same exact stand, but different computer. Yeah, same exact, exactly the same, same case. There used to be a doorway back here. This used to be like, kind of like squared off with a doorway. That led you back into uh, the bike building area. Back then you actually had a guy come, come in and build the bikes. I would sit there and watch the guy do it, but I wasn't that handy. But dude could fix anything. He could, he could build bikes in like, like five, 10 minutes. I'm not even joking right now. And uh, he actually passed away about a year after I started working here. I forget the guy's name. Yeah, that's a tour. That's my tour of Toys R Us Franklin Mills. And it's a shame it will be a distant memory in a matter of uh, a couple months. Everything's being liquidated. Got a lot of good memories here, man. A lot of good memories of working here. Driving power wheels around the store, bikes around the store, hanging with some cool employees, fellow associates, that sort of thing. It was 20 years ago, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. It's a funny thing. Yeah, it's a shame all these jobs are going, going to waste. 33,000 people, I think it was. Unemployed now? That's just it's a goddamn shame. But you know that's that's Amazon. That's the future. I'm guilty of it, man. I came in here a few times looking to buy something. I'd get my phone out and um, see that it was cheaper. And it was cheaper on Amazon. So it's like, how do you not how do you not save money when you're a customer? Hot Wheels. Those things here you're seeing, these actually lift up and there's more stock behind it. Let me see. Wow, there used to be more stock behind it. That's where you put all the overhead, the overstock. Little secret for you if you didn't know. 
you come here looking for something, and if it's sorted out, you just lift all these things up. They actually lift up and stay up along the top there. A lot of the employees would hide some stuff. <laughs> They'd hide like their rare Hot Wheels or their rare toys, G.I. Joe's. I have that case actually, and my son has that. Well, hopefully I'm not recording too fast. I don't know. Like I said, it feels weird to be here with a phone out in my work clothes and I wouldn't be calling up or anything. Not that I sound like a bitch or anything, but I don't want that. That looks badass. That looks really, really cool. 140 cars. It's awesome. I wish I could show you the break room and stuff, just for my own recollection, <laughs> but uh, that, that won't fly. That ain't gonna happen, so. I'm curious to see what it looks like. It's probably exactly the same. The soda machine back there, snack machine, vending machines. Memory I have back there in the break room is that the one vending machine um, was actually broken. And everything was free for one night. <laughs> and we all, once we all found out about it, it was game over. We had that whole fucking whole vending machine emptied. But, uh, it wasn't the right thing to do, but when you're 19 years old, yeah, give me a break, you know? Just reminded me something. I, I bought my son his first guitar here. It was a Toy Story, Toy Story guitar. Um, first guitar. I say that loosely. I mean, it wasn't really my guitar. It was like one of these deals here, just like that. But it was Toy Story. He didn't. Even, he didn't even use it. He was, you know, he's probably one years old, two years old at the time. He kind of smashed it around. But yeah, that was bought here. I guess that's it guys, that's my tour. Not much else to show you. As you can see, there's one register open, one lane open, and all this is empty. And it's a shame, but it's, you know, you saw it coming. Back up in that glass booth right there with the mirror, that's where the security is, and that's where you could do the job interviews, at least when I was here. But, um, that's, that's basically all there is to show you guys. This will all be empty in a couple months.
kind of thing you'll miss though. At least the kind of thing I'll miss. It's really cool displays, showing what toys are out. And as a kid, I mean, look at all this. I mean, just gets, gets your attention. If you're a fan of these toys when you're a kid, you probably love, love all this stuff. I know I would if I was a fan of the Minions, you know, six, seven years old. Probably the happiest thing to see. But, uh, just my opinion. But I'm gonna get out of here. I think I filmed enough stuff. But it's a cool visit. I'm not gonna buy anything. I don't really need anything. So, it's worth the show. Show how it looks. And, uh, yeah. There's the old pickup door right there. The ticket I was telling you about, you get your ticket, pay for the ticket, pull your car back here, right by this front door, right by this back door, I mean, and you grab your items. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's been, there's a lot of, a lot of stealing going on back here. I'll be honest with you. It's probably why they got rid of that system. But yeah, that, that's the tour of Toys R Us, Franklin Mills. On March the 15th, 2018. And like I said, it'll all be history soon.